Bob, why are we fishing here? Hmm? There's no water around here, Bob. Hmm. How can we catch any fish if there isn't any water around, Bob? Hmm. Bob, without water, how can the fish even... <sighs> Never mind. Bob, I think I've got something. Huh? I think it. Holy shit! It's a fucking fish. How how can this even happen? Ah, Bob, you take me to the weirdest places. <laughs> You must be wondering, how did this happen? Well, it all started when I tried to create a lake. I'm tired of having water problems in this gateway to hell nature reserve park. This has been annoying the hell out of me, a uh, pun not intended, because I keep putting the water uh, supply pipes and it keeps overflowing I remove it and the water just evaporates and poor Jack and Bob can't fish well they kind of can but but it's weird and this episode will fix this once and for all once and for all yes and um, I need to do a quick disclaimer I've installed mods <laughs> Yes, but they are visual mods. It's a cinematic camera and the first person view. First person because I really miss it. I want to do stuff like this. Oops, I mean like this. Hey Bob! Hey Jack! What's up? I guess it's raining so there will be water soon for you guys, hopefully. And um, and the cinematic shot because I want to do those kind of panoramic views of my city. I hope you forgive me. I didn't install any mod that uh, changes the gameplay. Okay, this is just to enhance the cinematic aspect of this Let's Play series. Please forgive me if you think this is not good. But I hope I I hope and I think you will enjoy. So this episode is going to be shorter than usual because I'm going to teach you and myself how to create a lake in City Skylines. Now, I have done some research and there are a few schools of thought. There's two schools of thought that I found was one that um, advocates oh by the way this is unmodded okay unmodded unmodded lake it's very important to highlight this unmodded so as I was saying the two schools of thought are create a lake like I did but then create a smaller lake here and put, put up So the two schools of thought are create a lake just like I did here and then create another lake smaller next to it where the water can overflow and then uh, you put a pumping station to pump out the water and that's basically the strategy. It's not my favorite because <clears throat> it um, implies that you need to create two lakes and I don't want, I just want one lake. The second option and the one that we're going to try today Again, this is a theory, I've just done some research, because this is annoying the hell army, and I decided to try. First, it's kind of <laughs> like, let's try this, I, I haven't rehearsed or anything, so we'll both found, find this out together and figure this one out. So I was saying the second one is to just put the pumping station and the water dumping pipe on the same place, but put it submerged. So basically here on the base of the lake, put both things here. And so when the water fills up, you won't notice they are there. So one is putting water and the other is removing water, if it makes sense. 
So let's try. So I'm going to put a water, what's it called? Fresh outlet right here on the bottom. There. I'm going to pause this just to make sure I don't mess this up. And then I put this here, I guess, the invisible pipes. Now I wait for this to fill up a little bit. Let's speed this up a bit. No, don't tell me I need power. Okay, it's filling up. I'm going to ignore the power sign. And now I should be able to put, pause. I should be able to put a water pumping station right here. And I should be able to connect it here. I don't know if I need power here, but we'll find out. Okay. And now, as you can see, the water pumping is already extracting water, while this one is still pumping water and, and filling this up. Okay, I might need another one. Let's try another one. Patience is not one of my virtues, so I just put four of these things for one, four water outlets for one pumping station. It's taking a long time for this to fill up, a long time. So let's just leave it a little bit longer, I think it's starting to overflow, yeah, I think finally with four, it's starting to fill this up. We'll see. I'll be right back. Much later. Just to inform that we now have seven water outlets and this is filling up quite quickly. And uh, I think I will, once this fills up, I will destroy a couple of them and leave just five and see how that goes. What could possibly go wrong? <music> There we go, it's overflowing, I deleted three, yeah, now there's four working and one pumping station, let's see if that's going to stabilize the water, I reckon the worst case scenario is that I need to build another pumping station and that's it, not the pumping station, what the outlet if this starts to evaporate, I think this is going to be stable for a long time. I think it's stabilized. There you go guys. This is how to create an artificial lake in city skylines unmodded. And uh, Bob and Jack seem to be very happy with this. And I hope you are too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next episode. Bye. Slowly, it seems to be dropping. I don't know if it will. Let's see if I can do some math here. So, pumping capacity 120,000 120, square meters. And maybe I can use this pollution thing. And it. Uh, uh.